Hamjambo wakulima na karibu. Every farmer understands the pain of losing stored produce to pest damage. The farmers have been forced to dispose their produce in a hurry but at a poor price due to desperation. On the other hand, farmers that opt to store their produce have resorted to these expensive commercial chemicals. Well, the consequences and benefits of chemical method is a story for another video. Today, I want to demonstrate a cheap traditional method that our grandparents used back in time. The materials needed for this project are listed here. In Kenya, wood ash is an inexpensive byproduct available in most farms. Let's start this project by gathering all the items that we will need. A net can be sourced from an old tablecloth or a curtain. I am wrapping a net around a dish to make a simple sieve. You will have to ensure the net is tight at the bottom of the dish to support the weight of the wood ash. It is this basic setup that will help me in filtering the wood ash. This is the wood ash that I will be using for this project. It is 6 hours from the time I collected it from the fireplace and it has cooled down to room temperature. Here you can see that I am pouring the ash on the net using a spoon. It is with this spoon that I continually stir the ash. This action serves to help in filtering the ash. We are only interested in the fine powder that falls into the dish. We are finally left with unburnt charcoal on the net and the fine ash in the dish. At this point, we are done with the sieving. So you can set aside the net and its contents for disposal. The next process involves mixing the ash and the seed. I will be using a ratio of one to one. That is, for each spoon of wood ash, I will put one spoon of the seed. In this project, I have decided to use dry hot chili seeds. I'm using a mask to protect my lungs. I strongly advise you use one, especially when dealing with chili seeds. Failure to do so, I can guarantee this project will mess your whole day. The total volume of the mixture will be determined by the size of the container you plan to store your product. Once I get sufficient quantities in the plate, I use a spoon to continuously mix until I achieve a uniform mixture. I will be using a small medicine bottle. You can even use a recycled old wine bottle. These bottles have been washed clean and dried in the sun. The next step involves filling up the bottle with the mixture. However, to do this, I will need a funnel. I use an A4 paper to make a paper funnel. The funnel will assist in filling the bottle efficiently in this situation. I fit the tip of the funnel into the bottle, mark the required size of the hole, and with a pair of scissors, cut. Once you are done with the process of making a funnel, you can fit it in the mouth of the bottle, so that now you can start the process of filling up. I am using a spoon to help me scoop the mixture and put in the funnel. By tapping the funnel gently with a spoon, the mixture will smoothly empty into the bottle. Once the bottle is completely filled up, you can now remove the funnel. I would like to remind you that I am still faithfully wearing my mask. Resist any temptation of touching your eyes or even going to the loo until you wash your hands. Note that I'm not using transparent bottles for storage. Do not shake the bottle before and after filling. This will only separate the contents. After tightly fitting the lid, label the container with the seed variety and the packing date. You can now store your seeds in a cool dry place until the next planting season. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.